let's be honest about this. Yeah, let's. Your honeys? These are my what? These are my babies. babies. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. You're a pig. <laughs> Jennifer's history of marrying men and then going through a divorce is no secret to her fans. This time around, her divorce with Ben Affleck is making some major headlines, and the story doesn't just end there. We're talking about an ex making shocking accusations, love spells, and a public image crumbling faster than a house of cards. Did J-Lo's magic powers finally backfire? And what does all this have to do with Ben's sudden weight loss? Fans are saying J-Lo's toxic nature is what caused her divorce from Ben in the first place. Just what happened? Let's find out. I cried because I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I was like, I was totally in love. We were totally in love. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day, you know, for me, you know, for my part. Jennifer has had many romantic partners throughout her career, but it all started with Ojani Noel, her first husband. The two tied the knot back in 1997, and to fans' surprise, the couple didn't last a long time. Yeah, you heard that right. If there was an award for failed relationships, Lopez would definitely bag one. Ojani and Lopez lasted for a total of 11 months. I remember being on the set and being in my dressing room and not feeling like I could get up in the morning, and there's just no pain like that. There's no pain or failure like going through a divorce. But their business didn't just end there. Apparently, Ojani wasn't too happy with Lopez. What's more, there were rumors going around that Ojani was writing a tell-all book back then. Why? Well, he wasn't just going to let Lopez walk out on him and do him dirty. Mind you, Noah didn't even ask Lopez to return the engagement ring. After the two separated, Ojani went on a TV show and talked about the separation. He said, I told her, keep the ring, keep all the things I gave you. He further added, I didn't want to remember those things that already happened. I was going to think about her, I was going to miss her. Ojani was also one of the first few people who saw Lopez change as soon as she got into the industry. And surprisingly, he had no plans to keep that to himself. He publicly talked about Lopez's time in the industry, saying, She went from Jen to being J. Lo, this big business bringing in millions. He further added, She had all these new people around her, all wanting to make money off her. I would call and an assistant would say, Sorry she's not available. Now most of Lopez's romantic partners remembered their time with the singer in good words even if it ended on bad terms, but not Ojani. In fact, as soon as things ended, he went public about what it was like being in a relationship with a singer. And you won't believe what he said. According to him, all Lopez cared about was her public image, and she made sure to flaunt her marriage in front of the cameras even when it was going down the drain. Ojani also told fans that he shed over 40 pounds from all of the stress Lopez gave him during their marriage. I was very, like, family-oriented, and uh, that's how I was raised. Once I got to know him and, you know, we became friends first, and then, um, we, we developed this bond. We both understood where we were at that time in our lives. Ojani has sure dropped a few jaws because Lopez's fans are definitely not going to defend her anymore after she's been exposed as an abusive partner. But the plot thickens. An old interview is now making rounds on the internet where Ojani is claiming some pretty big things and is accusing Lopez of using witchcraft and love spells to manipulate her romantic partners. Film producer Claudia Vasquez is also threatening to release a pretty scandalous tape of J-Lo. She spilled the tea in an interview, saying, I have been told she does the worst, frightening stuff. Jennifer has a godmother in Miami, which I have never met but Ojani knows her, and she calls this woman to tell her do this to this person, put up a black candle, etc. She has done Amara's spells on all her boyfriends. It's a typical thing for anybody involved in Santeria. But even with all that, she always ends up leaving them. Ojani also broke his silence when Ben and J. Lo got back together back in 2022. In fact, he was one of the first few people who predicted that the two wouldn't last. He said that J. Lo loves being in love. He further added, Ben is husband number four. I was husband number one and she told me I was the love of her life. When we lay in bed on our wedding night, she said we would be together forever. Because I knew that I could never really have true love in my life again. Ojani also added, 
I wish her and Ben the best, but I'm not convinced it will last. I think she's someone who will be married seven or eight times. I can't see her ever settling down with one person. She pushes herself to constantly go forward in her professional life, which is why she's had a three-decade career, but she also moves on in her private life. If Ben has Luke Jennifer's mom on his side, then maybe he's got a chance. With all the facts on the table, the internet is claiming some pretty wild things now. According to fans, Ben probably found out what Lopez was involved in and he didn't want to be a part of it. So no wonder he decided to walk out. Others think the spell Lopez had gotten done on Affleck probably wore off. However, J. Lo's visit to Ben on his birthday did spark some reconciliation rumors. If you don't know what we are talking about, well, Affleck had a small birthday party on August 15, 2024, and it wasn't something grand. A source added, it's exactly what he wanted. He didn't want to go out to celebrate. The kids had gifts for him, and it was cute. What's more, Lopez also decided to make a surprise entry at the party. The insider revealed, Jennifer Lopez stopped by to congratulate him. However, Lopez wasn't going to wish Ben a happy birthday on her social media. But not J-Lo, oh no, she took to her Instagram today to post throwback pictures from her own birthday, and there's no mention of a happy birthday to him. Okay, he wasn't present for her birthday, which we all know now. Is this her way of saying, hey, happy birthday to you when it was my birthday when you weren't there, so I'm not going to be there for your birthday. Now when news hit the internet, fans were quick to make conclusions. They thought that the pair might be heading towards a reconciliation simply because Lopez decided to drop by. You can't really blame fans because if the two didn't plan to patch up then, why would Lopez go there? He's lived a life, if you could not tell. And J-Lo went to visit him at his house in Los Angeles. That in and it of itself, I think, is newsworthy. They're spending time together. But Ben's sources were quick to come and clear the air. According to them, a reconciliation between the pair is out of the books. However, Lopez isn't really gaining a lot of sympathy. It's Ben who has the fans' attention. His recent look has led fans to think that Ben might be going through a midlife crisis and his soon-to-be ex-wife is confirming the news. It's almost like he's going through the same thing Noah did when he lost all that weight from the stress of being married to J-Lo. According to one source, for her, it's just proof he's falling apart at the seams and that he's clearly having major identity issues as well as a midlife crisis. The insider further added, in her view, he looks so lost and kind of pathetic right now. It's obvious to her that this is a cry for help, but her hands are tied because he's totally ghosted her. Meanwhile, Ben is looking at the entire scenario in a different way. A source revealed, Ben's not bothered if Jay Lo or others want to judge him. He's excited to have his life back and a fresh start ahead of him. However, fans are curious to know what the truth is. If J. Lo is indeed involved in all that shady stuff, then Ben is definitely in the right for calling the marriage off. And that's all for today. What do you think about this situation? Have J. Lo's glory days come to an end? Is Lopez actually involved in witchcraft? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.